So, hi, this is Gunnar Isaacson. I'm going to talk today about solid top versus walk through trust gantries. And for anybody who's been in the trust business for a long time, they're probably familiar with uh, what these are. These are the two basic kind of table layouts that are used in most trust facilities that use uh, steel top tables. So we're just gonna walk through these and talk about the longstanding debate between these two different uh, methodologies and just discuss what people talk about when they talk about those and the pluses and minuses. And I'd be very interested in getting your feedback about anything that we've uh, overlooked or didn't emphasize enough perhaps in talking about these two systems. So anyway, when we're talking about these two type of uh, systems, Steel gantries are made out of a, a series of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even more individual steel tables. And these are can either be pressed together so that there's basically no gap between them whatsoever, or they can be spaced out a little bit to create aisles, or as we uh, sometimes call them, walkways. So uh, solid top tables look something like this. Uh, very monolithic in a, in a certain sense, very consistent. And then walk through lines are going to look something like this with very clearly defined aisles in them. So we're just going to talk about the pros and the cons of each of these uh, different uh, layouts. We'll start off with the uh, walk through systems, and these are just more examples of them. They, they're very prevalent. Uh, we see them a lot of places. They not only have walkthroughs, but as you can see in the upper right hand corner, there are these slidable uh, aisle pads that exist that can be either completely removed or slid around into position as needed. So anyway, the, as we walk through these various pros and cons of these two types of systems, at the very tail end, we'll show some slides that basically uh, put put on one screen a summary of the pros and cons, so you don't have to maybe take notes if you're interested in doing that. We'll have some slides at the end that you could look at and just see all the uh, pros and cons together. So in talking about the pros of a walkthrough system, one of the primary or maybe the primary advantage of a walkthrough system is the fact that, as we can see in the left-hand side, uh, a worker can walk up an aisle and work on a particular joint in a truss without having to get up on the table. So uh, in general, we refer to walkthrough systems as being a little more ergonomically friendly in the sense that this guy who's nailing that top cord joint is uh, clearly in a fairly comfortable position for himself. So walk through systems by allowing the worker to kind of walk up and down the aisles and work on the top of the truss uh, is a little easier than getting up on the table as you see the guys doing on the right hand side. And this is a point that also uh, needs to get brought up in, in spite of the ergonomic friendliness of walkthroughs it is inevitable that there's going to have to be some getting up on top of the tables on walkthrough systems and working from on top of the table so walkthrough systems don't completely eliminate the need to get on top of the table okay so another thing is is that on walkthrough systems by taking these six to eight foot wide tables and spreading them out to a certain degree, we're getting a larger buildable surface than we would be if all the tables were kind of mashed together. And you can see when you take a wide view like this, um, you know, it becomes pretty clear that we wouldn't have enough space or we wouldn't have as much space to work on as if these tables did not have walkthroughs in them. And finally, the walkthrough system, because it allows the person working on the top cord of the truss to uh, 
kind of walk the truss back over the ejectors and the receivers, or somebody working on the bottom cord of the truss to simply walk through the table and gently kind of push the truss over onto the outfeed conveyors. We can use zero slope or low slope ejectors on walkthrough systems. It's a little more difficult as we'll see with uh, solid top systems. Okay, so in, as we switch over to some disadvantages of the walkthrough system, we'll, uh, we'll talk about number one, which is that when we've got a walkthrough system and we're going to lay out a truss, inevitably some of the joints are gonna fall on those walkways or the aisles. And here's an example from a, um, a Vertec file. This is actually a screen from the uh, Vertec software. And we can see a truss that's been brought in and is sitting in the default position. And the, the gray areas uh, denote where the aisles are. And you could see that uh, there's, there's controls that allow the uh, setup person to move the truss around to the ideal position so that the number of joints or critical spots in the truss that are falling in the aisles is minimized here. But it means that this is gonna take a little bit of time. We don't just bring the truss in and start working on it. We've gotta build the truss, think about it, tweak the position of the truss, then finalize it, and now we're ready to go. So that takes a little bit of time. Uh, also, when you've got a walkthrough system, we can see clearly these uh, steel aisle pads that I mentioned before. Uh, many times the joint is still going to fall in the aisle and we have to uh, move those aisle pads into position and uh, just, just make sure that they're in place too. So the extra time taken to move and adjust the aisle pads is another thing that, that it takes a little time out of the setup process. The next disadvantage is that in a walkthrough system, inevitably we are going to be up on the tables, at least for some activities. And it's possible because we have the walkthroughs that if we're not paying attention and we're up on the table, we could step into one of those walkways. So although there's the general perception that walkthroughs are ergonomically friendly, there's also a little bit of extra caution that needs to take place on, for people working on walkthrough systems, that when they're up on the table, they need to be mindful when they step backwards, for example, that they just don't step down into an aisle and uh, take an uh, unpleasant fall. And finally, as we maybe add uh, automation to a table, we're not going to be able to get the same completely uniform distance between all the automation. So ideally when you set up computerized automation like the wizard system on a, uh, a gantry system, it's very helpful if not only the table is kind of a uniform surface, but the distance between all the automated pins or pucks is consistent. And it's impossible with a walkthrough system for them to get absolutely consistent in terms of the distance between each and every one of the uh, uh, jigging points. Okay, that pretty much covers the walkthrough systems. Now we're going to switch over to the solid top system and talk about some advantages and disadvantages of those. And here we see three different examples of solid top system. Okay, so number one advantage of a solid top system, first one we're gonna talk about is the ability to move around quickly as you're working on the table, as opposed to a worker who may walk up an aisle, mess with a part of the truss, go back out and come down another aisle in order to reach another joint, a person working on the top cord here on the solid top system can simply kind of jump from one joint to another and it takes less time to move around on top of it. In addition to that, when we have kind of this monolithic 
surface, and we kind of touched on this in the walkthrough system, we can place the trust more or less anywhere. It doesn't matter where it goes. We don't have to be sensitive to avoid aisles because there aren't any. And so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a definitely a plus. And the automation can also be located, can be set up in a way that it's, it's virtually the same distance between each one of the, uh, each one of the pieces of an automation, almost the flip side of talking about the disadvantages of the walkthrough system. Okay, and that's, this is really a good view of, of how consistent and how evenly spaced that automation can end up being. Okay, so moving over to the disadvantages of a solid top system. Uh, number one is the ergonomics. And as you can see that two characteristics of working on top of a solid top table are the bending over basically from the waist to work on particular joints and the having to kneel down on the table to work a little closer on particular spots. And again, if we have a walkthrough system, it doesn't happen everywhere, but in many cases, we don't have to be in those kind of positions in order to work on the truss. Uh, the second one has to do with the fact that unless we have a riding platform, and this particular line does not have one, unless we have a riding platform where the platform is at the tabletop level, as we uh, start to build each truss after uh, the, the last one has been ejected, we're going to have to use stairs or some other method to get up on the table, and then before the gantry roller comes over the top, we're going to have to then step back down. And so that constant stepping up and stepping down on a solid top table is, again, a little more work and a little more time taken away from the process. If you have a riding platform, though, that is up at the table height, then basically a guy working on top of the table just steps over to the platform gets on and then rides the platform uh, and then steps back onto it. There's none of the up and down that happens otherwise. So now we're gonna just kind of uh, present those slides I talked about where we uh, summarize the advantages and the disadvantages of each of the uh, two types of tables that we've seen, the solid top and the walkthrough. And we're going to present one final slide that kind of uh, just ends the conversation, so to speak. So as my tech salespeople, we see both kinds all the time. We talk to customers when they consider new systems about which one do they prefer or which one would be best. And I would say most of us land on the concept that there isn't any right or wrong here. It's just a matter of preferences. And it's really up to the customer to decide which one they want to uh, to go with. What we've seen here in the Northeast primarily is walk through systems, but they are progressively being uh, supplanted as many systems are retrofitted with automation, and they're we're we're seeing a transition from mostly walkthrough systems to mostly solid top systems, because in adding the automation, we wanna take advantage of the reduced setup times. And we can definitely do that by creating a kind of monolithic surface where both the automation and the table itself uh, are the same throughout. And, and any little additional help with speeding up setup time is certainly appreciated. So for that reason, uh, most my tech salespeople, I think safe to say, would recommend solid tops if we're either purchasing a new automated system or we're retrofitting an existing system that may be walked through um, and we're transitioning it to automation. We would recommend using those same tables, but filling in the uh, aisles between them so that we can create a solid top when we're all done with it. And that's it. That's my presentation of kind of summarizing 
what we know about the advantages and disadvantages of these two different uh, gantry systems.